Hey everyone, thanks for watching. This video is designed for anyone that is currently working with your version of my Google Sheets budget plan, the one that shows you how much money you'll have down the road. I've had a lot of people ask me how to add a savings account into this budget, so in this video I'll do exactly that. After this video, not only will you know how much money you'll have in your checking account a year from now, but you'll also know how much money you'll have in your savings account. This video will be shorter and much more simple, so stay with me. Alright, so this process is actually going to be really simple. Much less complicated than all the other work you've already done on this budget. Two short formulas and we'll be done. The first thing I need to do is update my drop down lists in my log sheets to include a transfer to savings and a transfer to checking. I'll do that by going to my list page. Right now I only have the word transfer. I'm actually going to change that one to transfer to savings. Then I'm going to add another one that says transfer to checking. I'll just replace the word fun, but then add that again underneath. Alright, now I'm ready to move on to the next step. I'm going to create another sheet by clicking on the plus sign at the bottom left corner of Google Sheets. Then I'm going to right click on the new sheet and click rename. I'm going to name this one savings account. Now I'm going to go over to the other expenses page and copy the header and paste it onto the new savings account sheet. I'll stretch out the columns a bit to make them fit. I'm going to retitle the complete column from complete to running balance. Then I'll change columns D, E, and F to currency by highlighting those three columns and then clicking on the dollar sign in the home ribbon. Next, I'm going to add a starting balance. So I'll add today's date in the date column. Then in the description, I'll describe it as the starting balance. I'll also categorize it as the starting balance. Then in the first cell of the income column, I'm going to put whatever my balance is right now in my savings account as the starting balance. In this case, I'll just use $1,000. In the first cell of the balance column, I'm also going to put that exact dollar amount. The next thing I need to do is add a couple of transfers to my log sheet. I typically add all transfers to the other expenses sheet. So on the other expenses sheet, I'm going to set up a transfer from the checking account to the savings account. So I'll add today's date. Then I'll leave a description as automatic transfer because I have an auto transfer set up every Friday. Then I'll choose transfer to savings from the drop down list in the category column. Since this will be money leaving my checking account, I'll add the amount to the debits column. In this instance, I'm going to transfer over $100. Now if you look at your final tracker page, you should see it show up. For the purpose of this video, I'm also going to set up a transfer from the savings account to the checking account before we set up any formulas. I'll do it basically the same way. So on the expense page, I'm going to add today's date. Then I'll add transfer to checking, as opposed to transfer to savings, for both the description and the category columns. Now, since this will be money coming into the checking account, I'm going to add this dollar amount to the income column. I'll do $150 in this example. You should be able to look at your final tracker page and also see this transaction show up. The next step will be to set up a formula on the savings account sheet that pulls any transfer from a savings or transfer from checking over and then create a running balance. We'll start in cell A2 and type equals query with an opening parentheses. Then we'll click on the final tracker sheet and highlight all of columns A through E, not selecting the running balance column. Then we'll add a comma. That is the set of data we are going to query. Now we need to tell Google Sheets exactly what to search for and bring over. So after the comma, we are going to add an opening quote and then type the word select. Then we are going to add columns to the query in this order. And this is where it gets a bit tricky. So we'll add column A, which is the date. Then we'll add column B and C, which are the description and category columns. Now we have to think about how we are going to add the income and debits column. 
We are going to reverse them by adding E first and then D. A transfer to savings will show up as a debit on the checking account, but should actually show up as income on the savings account. And a transfer to checking will show up as income on the checking account log, but should actually show up as a debit on the savings account log. It'll make more sense in a second here. So now that we have E and D added, now we can tell Google Sheets what to filter. So next, we'll type where C for column C equals, and then in single quotes, type transfer to savings, and then add a single quote, and then the word OR in all caps, and inside the single quotes again, type transfer to checking. <laughs> and add a closing single quote, and then a double closing quote to close off the query. Now I can add a comma and a zero which tells Google to not bring over the header from the other expenses page. Now I can close it with a closing parentheses and hit enter. Google Sheets should have now pulled over your transactions from the final tracker page. Now I know I moved pretty quick here, so if you had trouble following along, I'll leave this entire formula in the description below. And as long as you've titled everything the same, the formula should work for you as well. The last thing we need to do is set up a running balance formula. That's really simple too, but I'll add that in the description as well. I'm going to create a formula that looks at whether or not the category column is blank and set up a balance based on that. In cell F3, I'm going to type equals if with an opening parentheses. Then I'm going to say if C3 equals nothing by adding two quotes, then add a comma. Then I'm going to say if C3 has nothing, then do nothing by adding two more quotes with a comma. But if it is not blank, then sub the last balance plus any income and minus any debits. Then I'll add a closing parenthesis to close the sum and another parenthesis to close the formula. Then hit enter. Now I'm going to copy this formula down the rest of the column. I'll do that by selecting F3 and hitting Control C to copy it. Then I'll select all of column F. Then I'll hold down the Control key and click cells F1 and F2 to deselect them. Then I'll press Control V to copy the formula down. Now, anytime you add a transfer in the other expenses sheet, it should change the balance of your savings account sheet. Pretty neat. Hey everybody, welcome to Work Smarter Not Harder. This channel is all about, well, teaching you how to work smarter not harder. We use technology like Microsoft Excel and Google Sheets to teach you how to automate everyday things like budgeting. If that's something that interests you, make sure you check out some of the other videos on this channel. Also, if you could, make sure you hit that like button and leave a comment. That's going to make the YouTube algorithm share my video more, which is ultimately going to help my channel.